We're through four weeks of the regular season. Most TVC Hawking teams have played three conference games, so we've got a pretty good idea of how good these teams are. I'm Noah Wolf, the co-host of the 20th season of Gridiron Glory. I'm joined by Nick Niehaus, TVC Hawking reporter. We're going through power rankings. So, Nick, we're starting off with the bottom three. Three winless teams. Where do you have them ranked? So, Federal Hawking, I have them last because last week they actually had to forfeit a game because they didn't even have enough players on the field due to injury. So, because of that, I put them last. And then I give Eastern the edge over Wahama because I just think Eastern's played you know, tougher competition, so that's why I give them the edge over Wahama. Couple one win teams then, how do those two shake out in the middle of the pack? So at six, I have South Gallia, and their only win came against Federal Hawking, which is I have them at six, and then Miller at five, because I actually think Miller is gonna get at least three more wins on the season. We've seen what they can do against teams that they have a slighter edge over, Wahama, they beat them 40 to nothing. All right, now we have who you think are the real contenders. Where's number four? Number four is Belpre. I really do like this team. They're two and two though, but those two losses came to Fort Fry and Trimble who are powerhouses and undefeated. Other than that, their two wins against Miller and Wahama were statement wins because they beat them both by double digits. And they have Southern this week, which I think could be a huge game and really can turn their season around. I think this is the biggest game of the year for them. Um, they have a big time running back with Jesse Collins who is one of the biggest kids out on the field. He could run you over. And then on defense, Gavin Freeland's an animal. He is everywhere. I'm telling you, this kid's really good. So then number three, who you got? Number three, I have Southern. They are one of the, they are undefeated. They are 4-0 and and have done so in blowout fashion. Every single, the closest game actually has been a 30-point victory over Notre Dame. With that being said, their competition so far only has one win total. So they have, they'll have their first test of series competition with Belpre this week. And I do think this team has a shot at the title. Logan Drummer, their quarterback, is a gunslinger and can even be accurate on the run. And you can't forget about Trey McNichol. This kid is a beast. I think he's one of the best in the Hawking. Those two are a great one-two punch and keep the defense wondering what's going to happen. They can score it through the air on, and on the run. I like this team. So now we're getting to what everybody's been waiting for, those top two. Where do you have the one-two punch? So this might sound crazy, but I actually have Waterford at number two. I have to do that because of that loss against Fort Fry. Other than that, though, they've been perfect. But if you take the Fort Fry game out, their opponents have just one win, just like Southern. So I think this team is pretty comparable to Southern, too. Peyton Stevens is a great quarterback and has been very successful through the air so far. But I think the difference lies with Braden Belleville. There is no other player like this in the conference. He's been dominating for years, and nothing's changed. I still think that that game between Waterford and Trimble will be the conference championship. It all just comes down who plays better that day. Well, there you go. The Tomcats have to be your number one team. Trimble, they are number one, and the biggest thing that stands out to me is their defense. They have given up seven points all year. I'll say it again. Through four weeks, they've only given up one touchdown. Like the other two top teams, I don't think they've seen too much real competition, but they have their chance this week to make a statement win against a Cincinnati school, Cincinnati Hills Christian Academy. Although that team's 2-2, two and two, they can, this can be the game that really proves how real Trimble is. It's at least a great tune-up before Waterford the following week. And some players that stand out to me is Max Hooper and Sawyer Coons. Hooper runs the ball and Sawyer Coons clears the way for him. And he's also the leader on defense. Those two players remain consistent. And I think you have your Hawking champion. Well, there you go. In Nick Niehaus' opinion, you've got Trimble, then Waterford, then the rest of the conference all the way down to Fed Hawk. To see these nine teams in action, make sure to tune in to Gridiron Glory on Friday nights at 11.30 on WOUB. And keep up with all of our midweek content, too. We're posting it all on WOUB.org slash gridiron and on all of our social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, and YouTube. For Nick Niehaus, I'm Noah Wolf.